Harry was forced to realize this, the palace has been completely nailed to Meghan's coffin. A royal source has spoken out to confirm that the royal family is now totally and completely cut off from Meghan and Harry. The insider explained that Meghan was walking around Kensington Palace invading the privacy of two kids of William and Catherine, taking some intimate photos of the child's bedroom. I mean, how much more invasive can a person get? And that was even before they were officially married. Can you imagine that idiotic Prince Harry standing up for this nasty woman and comparing that to his absurd stance in court? I mean, who is invading whose privacy here? He also wrote such intimate things about his brother in his book Spare. That was not his place to do that. I'm sure that Prince William did not give Harry permission to write about his private parts. It looks like Harry is still the jealous, petulant, tantrum-throwing little baby he's always been, and I'm afraid that nothing can change that, aside from the fact that he married one of life's failures, who couldn't make it on her own with openness and honesty. She has to rely on deceit and lies and duplicity. Harry should be exiled to some remote place, and it should be paid for by the family with the threat of any more privacy invasions, and he's going to be financially responsible for his own income and his own housing. And Megan, after everything she's done, well, she should never be allowed to enter the UK again. The desultory duo are going to keep on acting like this because there are no consequences for their bad behavior. Why should he stop? I mean, after all, he gets to keep his royal titles while he goes after his own family, the monarchy, Great Britain, and the Commonwealth. It is disgusting to watch. I think Harry is even worse than Meghan Markle. He showed such disrespect to his amazing grandfather and his incredibly loving grandmother, too, during their last few years of life. And he's also been so disrespectful towards his father, his brother, his aunts, his uncles, his cousins. The list goes on and on. And let's not forget, Meghan Markle, when your little toddler throws a temper tantrum, you need to give him some consequences and he'll figure out the right way to behave. If you don't, then you're going to be facing some really big problems later on. Neither one of these two has had that valuable lesson taught, obviously. Most regular people who do not learn this lesson end up serving time in prison. I suspect that part of Megan's problem is her father was very permissive. He was misguided. He wanted to give her what he had not been able to afford for his two older children. And just look at what happened. Now, when his two older children were born, he would have been very young. He was still working his way up in the industry. And then by the time he got with Doria and they had Megan, he was already an award-winning lighting director. Now, many parents would have done the same thing. It's a common mistake. Now, for a little while when Megan was younger, she moved out of her father's house and she moved in with her mother. At that point, they were already divorced. But it didn't take her very long to have some problem with her mother and then she moved back in with her father. So what was the reason? Well, okay, apparently it was Thomas who had offered to do the lighting for some high school play. And Megan had an argument with one of the other students. So she marched right up to her father and she demanded that he pull out of the show. And that would have meant canceling the whole production. Well, I guess he realized that would have been a pretty messed up thing to do. And so he refused. And then next thing anybody knows, Megan is packing her bags and she's going to move in with her marijuana addicted shady mother. Or at least a little while. And actually, I think that was a period of time that Megan has talked about. She said her mother raised her and took her to a Korean sauna where everybody was walking around naked to illustrate that she shouldn't feel self-conscious about her body. And Thomas also refused to disown his older kids so that he could walk his younger daughter down the aisle. That was what she expected him to do when she landed Harry. And just look at where all that got him. Both Harry and Megan are emotionally unhinged individuals and they continue to cut off their noses just to spite their faces. The truth is, neither one of them has anything to offer, and they have such little impact on the royal family thanks to their strange behavior and their lack of justification for their awful actions. Meghan was upset that the monarchy was not ever going to allow her to be in charge of the firm. Well, what a ridiculous request. Everybody knows what would happen in any major corporation or business if a new employee went up and demanded to be CEO. Meghan really misunderstood, though, what type of firm the royal family is. She thought that she, as a newcomer, could just climb the ladder, stab other people in the back, and get to the top. Well, she found herself defeated by the birth order hierarchy, and so she decided it was better to try her luck in Hollywood as a duchess. 
And now it looks like Harry is a married middle-aged millionaire who supposedly has two toddlers. He lives in a different country. It's not even a Commonwealth country. So why is it his father's job to get off his backside and do something? What an absurd suggestion. Harry and Meghan are responsible for everything they say and do. They're a couple of bullies, not to mention spiteful and vindictive. They have made King Charles into a victim of their bullying. And since when is it the victim's responsibility to deal with the problem and fix it? Well, it's not. King Charles and his family have done the right thing and just continuing on with their good work. It is not his responsibility to do anything, including acknowledging any lies or any BSPR releases. So far, it looks like everything has backfired. Harry just looks and sounds pitiful. He's completely whipped by Megan. This constant whining about every little thing under the sun and everyone makes him look paranoid and insane. He has admitted that all of the good women in his life dumped him. And now he has PTSD supposedly from all the attention he got when he was a little boy. Well, it looks like he doesn't mind all that attention now. In fact, he's always doing stuff to try to get some more attention for himself. Harry settled for this thrice-married harpy because he is too stupid to think for himself, which again, he just shows how dumb he is by the choices that he has made. I do hope that the U.S. can get rid of him too when that visa declaration shows up, but unfortunately it looks like we are stuck with Meghan Markle forever because she is a U.S. citizen. And if the U.S. gets rid of him, where is he even going to go? I don't think he would be welcome in any Commonwealth country. And I'm sure the powers that be in the U.K. wouldn't be happy one bit if he settled in a country that was anti-U.K. and started spreading his poison there. So where is he going to go? Maybe the Arctic? Well, I don't know that the polar bears would appreciate that. I think the royal family, though, knows what to do. They're going to continue with their never complain, never explain mantra. That worked great for the lovely, unforgettable late queen. And it's going to continue, I'm sure. Harry and Meghan may have put a tiny bit of a dent into the 1,000-year-old institution. But irreparable damage? I don't think so. They did irreparable damage to themselves and the kids they supposedly have. They're a pair of entitled twats with no talent, no intelligence, and no families. Just look at how many people turned out to see the king's coronation. That should prove that those idiots have no bearing whatsoever on the monarchy. In fact, many people would say they strengthened it. They have been a travesty only to themselves, and I don't think they should be able to continue to use and abuse those titles, and I also don't think they should be allowed to make money off of them. But King Charles does not hold that power so much as Parliament does. And I understand that at this late stage, the titles can no longer hold any value now because they'll always be connected to the two of them. I mean, even if the titles are removed, I don't think anybody would ever want those titles. In some ways, it's a real shame that the old days have come to an end because I think Harry and Meghan would have been dealt with swiftly and smartly. But now it's 2023 and the king is busy doing his real job. He doesn't need to bother with Harry and all of his ranting and raving. Intelligent people with common sense can easily see Harry and Meghan for what they are. They are no reflection whatsoever on the monarchy or the royal family.